Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Ubuntu VM instance in Google Cloud platform. See, I have connected to my GCP or Google Cloud console, then click on Google Cloud. If you are unable to find, create a VM or compute engine on this welcome window, then click on this search box, click on this search box and type compute engine see the first option that is compute engine see at present i don't have any instances running click on create instance or click on create instance both the same provide the name for instance that is i am giving ubuntu 2022 22 that is the stable version from the ubuntu gcp1 the name should be meaningful so remove the caps the name cannot contain capital letters okay then region select the region from the list zone see we have only these four zones select the zones from the list i am going with default region and zone next machine configuration we have four types general purpose compute optimized memory optimized and gpus general purpose is the lowest cost among these if you go to compute optimized it will be more wait the cost will be loaded here see it is 122 if you go to memory optimized this will be in thousands see it is in thousands even if you change to M1, then also it will be in thousands. See, see here, mission type. When you selected mission type, the memory is too high. Ultra memory, it is also high. Okay, GPUs, it is somewhat lesser. We can select the, these options. You can select any one of them. So I'm going with general purpose. In this also we have different series the e2 is the cheapest one it's estimated cost for month is 25 dollars if we change like n1 it is almost same if you, like if we change n2 the cost will be a bit higher than this e2 see it is almost double if you go for c3 it will be in in hundreds see it is 153 dollars so the cheapest that is e2 select it once you selected see here cpus and memory allocated we can change this from this available like e2 micro e2 small e2 standard here also we have shared core standard high memory high cpus if we select any one of them the cost will be increased because it changed the CPUs and memory. Wait, it will load here. See, cost is increased. So I'm going with shared core and E2 medium. Even if you want to less cost, then click on E2 medium, then select E2 micro. See, cost is seven dollars only. For this demo purpose, I am going with E2 medium. In your case, select based on your requirement. Next, advanced configurations. I am not going to change anything. Next, VM provisioning model advanced settings. Drop down this one. Then select migrate VM instance. Automatic restart. It is recommended to set on. Then go down here. In boot disk, we have to select the Ubuntu. By default, it is selected Debian GNU Linux 11. And its size is 10 gigabytes. So in this video, we are going to create Ubuntu VM. So click on change. In operating system, select Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu. Wait, versions are loading. See, we have 
the list version is 20 2204 2204 for x86 and ubuntu 23 okay so i'm going with 22 lts select it this is the machine hard disk size i'm giving 20 gigabytes then click on select if you are working with all these settings click on select then wait cost will be loaded here see cost is bit increased next service account i am going with compute engine default service account access scope also i am going with allow default access then firewall allow http and https traffic advanced settings i am not going to change any of them just click if you are okay with all these settings then click on create wait it is loading but if you are unable to find just click on refresh see state is running this is the name we have given this is the zone and this is the internal ip assigned by gcp and this is the external ip it is used to connect to this ubuntu machine see in the related actions here if you want to set firewall rules you have to click on this one If you want to create firewall policy you have to click on this one if you want to create firewall rule you have to click on this one okay go back then if you want to see billing report you have to click on this one if you want to see the patch management you have to click on this one if you want to monitor vms click on monitor vms it doesn't have agent okay i will show you how to configure agent in later videos go back to vm instances you want to export vm lux you have to click on this one click on this machine name or instance name see these are the options of the machine that we have set now we will see how to connect to this ubuntu machine see here we have ssh even here also we have in the connection column we have ssh in the drop down we have these five options we can also get the same five options once we click on this instance name ssh see we have the same five options click on this open in browser window Click on Authorize. If you receive allow SSH in browser to connect VMs, you have to click on this Authorize. Otherwise, it won't connect. Click on it. It is going to authenticate. Authentication done. See, we have successfully connected. This is the service account name. So, let's verify whether this is Ubuntu machine and its version is 2022 or not. Here, we can see that but we can also verify by running command more slash etc hyphen slash etc os hyphen release see ubuntu 22 and it is lds version so version is this one this is the name also here the usage of the hard disk it is used only 10 percent of this total hard disk size this is the hard disk size that we have given can also find that okay now see here options now if you want to restart you have to click on this reset button if you want to stop you have to click on this menu then click on stop if it is stopped then we can click on this start button it is already started so it has been grayed out if you want to suspend you have to click on this one if you want to delay this Ubuntu virtual machine, you have to click on this one. You can also do these settings by going to VM instances. From the list, select the instance. See here, we have the all the options. Also, we can get by clicking on this one. We can get same here. So, in this video, we have seen how to create and connect to Ubuntu VM instance on Google Cloud platform. For more Google Cloud or 
ubuntu or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you